good morning and welcome back to my channel hope y'all had a merry christmas and enjoyed your holiday in this video i'm going to be going over some updates of my projects and um, let you know what we have in store for the new year so let's start it off um, i have my phone here because i want to just keep some notes and make sure i don't miss out on anything about what i want to discuss in this video all right so the ctsv let's start off with the ctsv project the CTSV project was in one shop. It stayed at one shop for about three months. The guy never got around to it. So we ended up taking the CTSV and we took it to another guy. So that guy hasn't started it yet, but he said he should be able to start it um, pretty soon. So that's what's going on with the CTSV project. The CTSV project is actually moving a lot slower than I thought. So don't be surprised if I decide to sell the car um, if someone gives me an offer for it before it's complete, I would probably sell it because it's just like I said, it's not moving as fast as I thought. So that's what's going on with CTSB. All right, let's move to the next project, which is my 5.3 build. Again, the 5.3 build is taking a long time. Um, I'm not sure what the holdup is. I keep talking to the guy. He said um, they're going to get to it. They're going to get to it. I have all the things for the, the bill so if once they do the machine work or the line home and stuff like that and I get it back here to the house then I can put it together um, I have everything to put it together um, speaking of putting it together the, the piece that I got was my I recently got was my camshaft and it's right here and this is basically just a summit stage 2 turbo cam and I'll put the I'll put the specs in the video so you can see the specs of this cam, but this is just a Summit Stage 2 Turbo Cam that came in. So I have every single thing for the 5.3 build um, as far as getting get the engine assembled and everything. Um, you saw the heads in the last video. And I mean, I still have little stuff like the turbo, the intake, um, things like that, but I don't consider that something I need to do right now because I need to figure out what I'm gonna put the engine in before I start um, you know getting a lot of that stuff so not saying that I'm not gonna buy the turbo ahead of time I probably will buy the turbo ahead of time but I won't be doing the piping or any of that until I figure out what I'm gonna put it in so I move this cam right over here and just like I said um, you should have saw the specs inside of the, the, the video I put the specs in there um, next let's talk about the Soraka arm stands all right so when I bought this engine um the it didn't have rocker arms or anything on it it didn't have the rocker arm stands on it and when i was buying the rocker arms i realized that i needed rocker arm stands for this engine and with that when i got the gto the engine that's in the gto uh, when i put that together when i assembled that i sold the original heads and i ordered some 799 heads for it and of course I sent them off to Texas Speed, got them ported and polished but I'm not 100% sure that that engine had rocker arm stands. I'm not 100% sure if I put rocker arm stands on it. So what I did is I ordered an extra set of rocker arm stands so one day um, coming up I'm gonna have to pull the GTO out and pull the valve cover off to see if I use rocker arm stands now I have turned the GT up to about 6,500 6, RPMs probably sometime I've probably pretty turned it to 7,000 RPMs and if I don't have rocker arm stands on it I'm surprised that I didn't damage anything because you know the rocker arm stands keeps the rocker arms aligned so Again, I don't know if they have it on there or not. I don't remember putting them on there. I went back through my video um, of me assembling it and I really didn't zoom in on it enough to know if I use rocker arm stands or not. So that's going to be a future video. I'm going to pull the valve cover off the GTO, see if I put rocker arm stands on it. And of course, I got the rocker arm stands for the 5.3 build also. Another thing coming up, um, project coming up for our new year is my truck. I'm going to clean the bed off and I'm going to do a bed liner, a spray in bed liner on it. That's something I've always wanted to do. So I'm going to put a spray in bed liner on it and I'm going to put bed lights on it. So 
that's coming up in some future videos as well this coming new year um just like i said i got a lot of projects that's that's coming up this new year so um it, it's going to be a lot of a lot of content coming forward g8 the g8 sounds it didn't really sound as good as i like for it to sound but my ears are kind of tuned up for a cam so maybe it sounds as good as it sounds now because you know it, it's just stuck um, and I'm, I'm listening for that cam sound but don't be surprised if we change the mufflers on the G8 um, so that may be coming pretty soon if I can find some mufflers for a good price um, that I can change out just to see if they sound better than the Magna Flow straight throughs that are on it now um, I hope again I hope y'all had a Merry Christmas um, and coming this new year there's gonna be a lot of projects that I have matter of fact the video after New Year's on the Sunday after New Year's the, my video is going to be me starting a new project so I'm starting off with a brand new project after the new year and no this is not the CTSV project no this is not the engine project so those are still in the works right now I'm just waiting for them to come back but I am kicking off a brand new project on the Sunday after New Year so tune in to check it out and I do have other projects that are coming to this channel not exactly sure when it's coming it depends on how all the other things fall we know my engine is going in something so that's going to be a project so tune in and just like I said make sure you subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell because you're not going to want to miss all these projects that I have that's coming up it's going to be something for everyone just put it that way um, whether you're tinkering around in your garage with stuff or whether you're thinking about bed liner or whether you're trying to do a muffler change or just any basic gearhead it's going to be stuff on there for you so thanks for subscribing click that subscribe button if you haven't click that like button share some videos and I'll see you in the next video